Hey everybody, what's up? You know, if we want to get some water here, there we go. But you know, one of the things that we've always noticed, if you're a fan of comic books, even fans of television shows, or in this case, any kind of media, The one thing that a lot of fans of comic books at times, or any kind of media, may ask is, is basically what you're reading or seeing, is it getting stale? Is it becoming stale or is it becoming, as some people would say with a certain comic book that I talk about a lot here on YouTube as well as at some of the, some of its related some of the message boards and sites that it's re, has some association with is it becoming repetitive now you might ask yourself well what do you mean by repetitive well what I mean is Certain things at times, whether it's in comic books or television shows or movies, sometimes a certain situation will occur. And just when you think you might get something different, you end up getting the same thing over and over again. Now, just as I've used before as an example, I'll use once again in as an example. The WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment's franchise and face of its company, John Cena, in many fans' eyes, is an example of true repetitiveness. It's always the same thing over and over and over again with Cena. You know, if he's in a match, he gets beat down, he suddenly super Cena, he become, all of a sudden, towards the end, he becomes super Cena, and most of the time ends up winning, just as he always does. Now, I will give World Wrestling Entertainment credit. They have tried to change things up with Cena. Because one of the constant complaints fans had about Cena was he was always repetitive. He was always a repetitive person in the championship picture. In other words, he was always in that championship scene. Every championship match, whether it was on the Monday Night Raw uh, program or Friday Night SmackDown program, which it never was, but you know what I mean, or on occasional pay-per-views or special televised or special telecasts he would always end up being in a championship picture. He would always end up being in a championship match. Always be having a shot. Always being the number one contender. And to wrestling fans and WWE fans, this became repetitive. It was like it was just the same thing over and over again. It's just like with SummerSlam coming up. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fans that feel it's going to be a repeat of what Cena's done before. He's going to win. He's going to walk out champion whatever but Cena in a sense like I say is kind of an example of repetitiveness it's always the same thing with him especially when it comes to championships he's always in that title picture and again I give World Wrestling Entertainment credit for the fact that they kept him out of the title picture until recently now you might ask yourself what does this have to do with comic books Brian well the comic book that I've talked about a lot and of course you know, am a fan and subscriber of, has, I guess in the eyes of some fans, depending on who you ask, whether it's fans over at the form, at the forms, if you will, at the stadium, the SMS board, or whatever, or even a certain artistic site, They will always say the same thing. Some will always kind of say the same things or things very similar. And what they say is every time with every issue ever since the certain story arc began, every climate, all the climaxes to certain issues, a majority of them, ever since the so-called world tour number two began, that every climax, if you will, to every issue is the same. 
the heroes have their uh, brainwashed friend cornered, you know, kind of cornered, outnumbered, you know, have the opportunity right then and there to seize them, seize the brainwashed friend and try to si seize, capture the brainwashed friend and try to save them. But then, that brainwashed friend ends up getting away. And a lot of and a lot of fans feel this is becoming a very repetitive situation. Like with every issue, like I said, ever since it's World War II, it's climaxed, the main story has climaxed, the main story has climaxed with the same thing over and over again. And some fans are getting tired of it. Now, some fans can't understand the fact that even though it's becoming repetitive and tiresome at times that it's only being done because the writer with all due respect wants to extend and prologue the actual climax to the story arc for a little longer now whatever that climax may be we don't really know just yet but this is basically how some fans are looking at it now, is it a good idea to keep the same thing happening at the end of ev at the end of all the main stories in every single issue? And it doesn't matter if it's the comic book I'm talking about or not. Is it is it wise to do that? No, no, it's not. I'll be honest with you. No, it's not, because you need to at least give them something different. It's like I said with the WWE, with World Wrestling Entertainment. You know, they could have kept Cena, John Cena, in the championship picture all throughout uh, this year all throughout the past year or so they could have kept him in the championship picture even after he lost the title in October of last year they could have kept him in the championship picture all the way up to now but they didn't they kept him out they kind of put a stop a temporary cease to the repetitiveness of him being in the championship picture Now, again, I give them credit because they could have made it more repetitive. Yes, his regular matches at times can be repetitive, and that's something that sometimes they do. I do agree they may have to change up someday, hopefully down the line. But you get what I'm saying. They kind of put a stop, a temporary halt, on his repetitive, on him being a repetitive. A contender or getting repetitive shots at the championship and that's a good thing because they changed it up and they gave it to some other people some that have never had that opportunity but then but then you have what's going on in this comic book right now and a lot of fans have even said we and like I said it's fans that are at certain forms stadiums uh, SMS boards, uh, artistic sites, that have all basically said similar, the same things or similar things. And that is, the repetitiveness is getting annoying. You know, you need to actually do something instead of having the brainwashed friend take off, take off and go back to, to, the, to the headquarters of the fort, flying fortress in which your enemy who's controlling them is hiding in or flying around in you get what I'm saying and again I admit you do need to change things up because it can be annoying I mean think of it this way when Marvel Comics did the X did the Phoenix Saga for the classic Phoenix Saga the classic Dark Phoenix Saga saga with Jean Grey don't you think it would have been stupid if they kept if Jean would have stayed Dark Phoenix for most of that arc and they try to save her and she keeps getting away and she keeps getting away and she keeps getting away until finally finally they capture her now I'm not saying they didn't do that but think about it if they would have done the Phoenix Saga for as long as this arc is and it would have been the same thing or as long as this world tour to this second world tour portion of the story arc is and they kept doing that with her don't you think that would have gotten repetitive and boring of course it ha would have it definitely would have gotten repetitive. It would have gotten, you know, people would have gotten annoyed by it. They would be thinking, oh, come on, Marvel. Give the X-Men a chance to finally capture her and do something. Don't keep having to fly away and do this and do that. 
you know. And I'm not saying she didn't do that a couple of times, but I'm not saying it. But what I'm saying is it wasn't at the end of every issue like this is in the eyes of some fans. It's the same thing with, okay, it's the same thing in the original Ultimate Spider-Man comics. In the original Ultimate Spider-Mans, Mary Jane got infected with some kind of chemical mutation or something like that, and she got turned into what was known as a monstrous goblin, or a monstrous demon goblin, whatever you call it. And yes, the Fantastic Four and Reed Richards was able, was able to temporarily cure her, but there was still a part, but she, as far as we knew, <laughs> still had that goblin within her, still had that Hulk-like situation with the goblin within her. But here's the thing. Don't you think it would have become too repetitive if Spider-Man and any allies and friends he had would try to capture Mary Jane in her goblin form and she just kept getting away and getting away and getting away at the end of every issue? And you're thinking, come on, what are you going to give him a chance? You know? To me, that is how they look at this story arc right now. That is how they look at it. That's how they look at this story arc right now. Oh, I'm sorry, just checking where my dog went. She's right there. Uh, but again, th you know, that's how they're looking at the story arc. They're looking at it as being repetitive. And and they don't like it. And again, I, and I have to agree with them. As much as I'm willing to give the story arc a chance, I have to agree. You don't keep repeating something, you know, off and on. <laughs> And I'm not taking this, and I'm not talking about this from, you know, because I read the issues. No. And I'll repeat this again for anybody that finds it stupid. It's not stupid to me. I'm waiting until this whole thing comes to a climax to actually give it a proper review. But the point I'm trying to say is, you don't take something, I'm saying, and repeat the same scenario over and over and over again. You give the heroes an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand that some fans will say, yes, we know it's repetitive, and yes, it seems it might get annoying, but they have to do this to push the story along. And you know, it's not as bad as you think it is. And you know what, they might be right. It may not be as bad, but it's always basically seems like it's the same scene repeated over and over again. Let me put it to you like this. In animation, back in the cla back in the 60, 50s and 60s, with Hanna Barbera at times, when they started out with the old studios, they would sometimes use the same scene over and over and over again of a character talking or moving. And even though we can understand back then, they will that's all they were limited to doing with their animation. Still, people would look at it today. A, if it was used today, if that kind of animation was used today, they would look at it and say, they're just repeating the same scene over and over again with different dialogue. And that's how people feel about this. Fans feel about this. And again, I can understand some fans agreeing with it, but saying it's only because they got to continue the story. You know, don't worry, it's going to come to an end. It's not so bad. And I understand and respect fans saying it's not that bad, but... But again, here's the situation. Fans, there are some fans that feel it's becoming too repetitive. They feel it's becoming just the same thing over and over again. Here's the thing. You know, you have Sonic or Tails or even Amy on the verge of capturing Sally and she gets away. It's like, what's the deal? Why are you doing this? You know, it's just the same thing. Why don't you give them a chance? And again, from what I can understand and from what I see, you know, it, you know, it is becoming repetitive and annoying, but again, from the other side, I can understand that they want to prolong it until the actual climax, which should be in the next two, three months. But why? But the question is why, but the question fans have is why keep repeat, making it repetitive? Why keep doing the same thing over and over again? You know, some fans, like one fan called GBS, feels as though it's 
basically you're not get the story the some of the story is like one fan like GBS has said that you know some of the story is okay like most of like some let's say about 50 percent of the main story is okay but then you got the other 50 percent that's not okay you know what I'm saying it's like okay 75 percent okay let's put it this way 75 percent of the main story is okay but then you get to 25 percent that drags it down and that 25 percent is the repetitiveness of what we see it towards the climax of that issue's main story and again they feel it doesn't need to be that way if you need to at least give them some kind of like okay it wasn't the same thing repeated because this happened and again I agree it repetitiveness in comics can be annoying and needs to stop but then again I also agree that sometimes it needs to be done to move the story along um, even if it's unnecessary but I pose the question to you guys here on YouTube do you think things are becoming too repetitive do you think things need to be changed up in this comic and anything else let me know what you guys think below and I'll talk to you all later